Hello, Internet. This is Olin from What I'm Listening To, here, once again, with another episode of Quickies. The first CD I have for you today is a compilation. Uh, this is called The Inkraut 6674. So uh, this is a compilation of uh, what this little hype sticker says. Uh, 20 mind-blowing beat, now sound, soul, and soundtrack nuggets from Germany recorded in the 60s and 70s. Most tracks on CD for the first time. Um, Hip-shaking grooves made in Germany. Yeah, so uh, this is just this collection of uh, German funk music. And uh, this was actually recommended by my coworker James, who's turned me on to a lot of great stuff in the past and I've talked about in these Quiggies videos, but um, this is a really, really cool collection of just very fun sounding music. And what I really like about this is there's some tracks on here that I wouldn't have expected to come from Germany. And it's just kind of in the vocal delivery or just the general sound. Um, yeah, I mean, you could just chalk it up to a uh, an American funk song or yeah, just very, very timeless. This booklet's really cool, showing a breakdown of each track on here. And yeah, very fun, very fun album. Um, something I think would be really cool to put on in store. I might have to consider doing that on a, uh, a Saturday if I want to get everybody dancing. So we'll see. Next up, I have something from the experimental section. Uh, this is by a person named, oh boy, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. Uh, Kurkowski is their last name. Zbigniew. Zib <laughs> Anyways, um, I only really know about that person through another coworker of mine. We were uh, chatting about experimental groups, and uh, he had said that he'd seen him perform live and said it was just a wild show. Uh, but at the time we were talking about experimental music, we didn't actually have anything in stock by said artist, Kurkowski. Um, but one day I uh, happened to find this filed in the experimental section and decided, let's grab it. Let's actually give this a listen. I would have no idea what to expect. This also looks like it's a collaboration album. Um, I don't know if there's going to be multiple tracks or if it's going to be like one giant track that's like an hour long that's just full of noise and drone. We shall see. But uh, regardless, really interested to in checking it out. I think it'll be a fun listen and I'm always game for listening to some kind of experimental music. Next up, still on the experimental music here, uh, I have a Finesse album. This is called Feel Recordings, 1995 to 2002. Uh, I am a big fan of Finesse. Um, he does some fantastic, glitch, ambient works. Um, Endless Summer is easily one of my favorite albums by him, as well as his uh, collaboration albums with Ryuichi Sakamoto that are also totally worth checking out. Um, but this, I'm guessing, is just a collection of field recordings, just based on the title. And uh, I am also a very big fan of field recordings. Um, it's basically just natural ambience. Recordings taken from a farm, a lake, a forest, really anywhere, just kind of a live setting. And uh, what you record is what you get. And uh, there's just something about that that I find really peaceful. Um, looking at this track listing here, it looks like we have Surf, Stairs, uh, Odessa, Codeine, Instrument. I, I, I don't really know if this is just trying to be cryptic or if this does imply what the sounds are. Um, but I'm really looking forward to listening to this. Um, I'm always down to discover some new Field Recordings albums, and I don't really see them too often, but uh, when I do, I usually have to grab them to give them a listen. So yeah, uh, Finesse and Field Recordings, this one should be a great, great listen. The last CD I have today, getting out of experimental, going a little bit more straightforward, 
Uh, I have a PJ Harvey album, The Peels Session, 91 to 2004. Um, I just recently watched a mini doc about uh, PJ Harvey and the recording of her first two albums, and it really made me realize uh, how little I knew about her early works. Uh, I've listened to a lot of her later works. The uh, In The Stories, I believe is the album, is what it's called. Uh, I love that album. The song uh, The Whore's Hustle and the Hustler's Whore is one of my favorite songs by PJ. But um, yeah, anyways, um, in that mini doc, played a lot of snippets from the early albums as well as uh, snippets from the Peel sessions that she recorded on uh, John Peel's show. And uh, I just, for some reason, found the recordings on the show much more uh, appealing sounding, which kind of funny because I typically uh, find myself liking studio versions over live recordings, whether they're live in the studio or, you know, live at a, a venue. But I just found this and thought, let's, let's give it a listen. Let's see uh, how these recordings sound. And then at some point I'll have to listen to... Uh, the songs that appear on the albums and compare the two and see which ones I like the most. So it looks like uh, we have a bunch of songs from her first album, Dry, and then I think some of these are from her second album. Not entirely sure. Yeah. Uh, anyways, very, very excited to dive into this stuff. Um, again, not usually a big live music fan, and John Peel has a lot of stuff he's recorded and released on these CDs, so, you know, they're kind of a dime a dozen, but uh, this one, really looking forward to checking out. All right, internet, that does it for me for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next week.